Leonardo da Vinci is famously known as one of the greatest painters of all time. He was also a well-known scientist, engineer, and architect. He was so influential in so many different areas that he was the perfect example of the term Renaissance man. Besides being all these great things, did you know he was also an inventor? Hi, and welcome to Woe History. In today's video, we will be diving into the inventive side of the great Leonardo da Vinci. Let's get started. In 1452, da Vinci was born in Anchiano, Tuscany, which is part of modern-day Italy. This is close to the town of Vinci, which gave him the last name we know him by today. In his own time, he was just called Leonardo, or Il Florentine, because he lived near Florence. Even though only a small number of da Vinci's paintings and sculptures still exist, two of the ones that do, The Last Supper and Mona Lisa, are among the most famous and admired paintings in the world. Though Leonardo da Vinci is best known for his art, he spent a lot more time on his scientific and technological projects. His detailed sketches and unique style played a major role in his inventions. His sketchbook showed that he had thought of many inventions long before the technology to build them existed. One of the many inventions he made was to modify the anemometer, which was a device that measured wind speed. Leonardo da Vinci made changes to the device to make it more accurate by adding an arched frame and a wooden block to it. When the wind blows, the wooden block rises, and anyone who can read the scale on the side of the block can measure the height. This is more accurate than the old way of measuring wind speed. Leonardo da Vinci didn't invent the first clock, though he did change the way it was made to make it more accurate, as he did with many other things. The original clock always showed the time in hours and minutes, but you couldn't always count on this being right. This was helped by adding a pendulum, but it was really da Vinci's ideas that made the clock as accurate as it is today. One of his most famous and creative inventions was a flying machine called an ornithopter. The idea that people could fly like birds really excited him, so it's not surprising that the flying machine was one of his most prized creations. One of the main problems with the way he imagined his machine was that it would have relied completely on the physical strength of the pilot to stay airborne, through the use of levers and pedals. Even though it was never made the way he thought of it, his idea was the foundation of modern flight. If Leo could have gotten his flying devices into the air, thankfully, he had a backup plan for when and if the pilot had to bail out mid-flight. In one of his books, he details a trapezoid-shaped cloth that when fully deployed would arrest the pilot's fall and allow him to gently land unharmed on terra firma. It wouldn't be until World War II that a successful version of his parachute would be made. Speaking of war, you might be surprised to learn that a person like Leonardo da Vinci was the first person to think of the tank or armored car but he was. He came up with a car-like machine that could move in any direction and carry a variety of weapons. Leonardo came up with a lot of ideas for war machines, but this one is the most well-known. Continuing from his earlier explorations on land, da Vinci moved out into the waters and developed a system for humans to breathe while underwater, which was the precursor to modern-day scuba diving. He thought it could be used in war because it could be used to sneak up on the enemy while they were underwater. However, like many of his other ideas, it was ahead of its time. Leonardo wrote and drew many of the ideas for many other inventions hundreds of years before they were made, though only a small number of these were built and tested during his lifetime. His notes show that he wanted to put together and publish his ideas, but he died before he could do this. Some of them include the helicopter, self-propelled cart, and revolving bridge. After he died, his notes were hidden scattered or lost, and people forgot about his great ideas. It took hundreds of years before other inventors came up with similar ideas and put them to use. Although most of those who later invented these did not use da Vinci's designs, it's incredible to find out that many modern-day machines and creations that we use today were detailed by him hundreds of years before seeing fruition. This concludes today's video. I hope you enjoyed it! Surprised with Da Vinci's inventions? Who do you think should claim credit for those inventions? Da Vinci or the eventual creators? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe to get more videos like this, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss future videos. Thanks for watching Woe History. See you next time!